Many businesses have multiple disparate databases, often held within Microsoft Outlook or Excel spreadsheets. And this can be a problem for several reasons. The information is difficult to share and requires proactive management to keep it up to date. The data is often unsecured and there is a, a risk of, of loss that could lead to a breach of the Data Protection Act. Related communications, such as phone calls, emails, appointments, letters, is often not recorded al alongside the data. Microsoft Dynamics CRM provides a solution to this problem. XRM refers to a flexible and extensible framework within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. XRM effectively enables organizations to rapidly modify their CRM system to better fit their needs, to manage any type of relationship or business process within CRM. With XRM, you can build powerful but intuitive applications and share them across the business via Microsoft Outlook. This video will explore how you can use the XRM capabilities of Microsoft Dynamics CRM to build out a new application within Microsoft Dynamics to record customer related information. So this sample I have here is an Excel spreadsheet that contains information about service contracts that relate to customers that we have in, in CRM. So this is an external database that's managed just within Microsoft Excel. And we have typical information about service contracts, such as the serial number, invoice number, and value. Within Microsoft Dynamics CRM, what I'm going to do is create a new application to support that external database using the Microsoft Dynamics CRM import data wizard. The import data wizard will not only let us import the contracts that I've saved as a CSV file, but I can also use it to actually generate a new XRM application without any sort of technical knowledge or programming. So here I'm going to select the default system map for this particular import and Microsoft Dynamics CRM will ask me where to place the contract information within CRM. What we're going to do is to create a brand new CRM record type to hold the service contract information. So in this case I'm going to create a new entity in CRM, we'll call it service contract and the plural will be service contracts. The primary field will be a unique column in the external database so in this case I'm, I'm going to select account number. The import data wizard will also create the new attributes that are required to store the information that's currently held within the external database and all I have to do now is to map the source fields from the Excel spreadsheet to brand new attributes in CRM. So the account number, which is going to be the unique field for the, this new record type, will match up to the account number column. For account name, I'm going to create a new field of type CRM lookup so that we can actually link service contracts to existing customers within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So the related record type in this case is going to be account. For the rest of the columns, I will match the source data to new attributes in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So for the balance column, that is going to be a, uh, a new attribute against the new entity type, and that will be number. For contract type, again, another new field, and this will be a, an option set or a pick list. For end date and invoice date, they will be linked to some new date and time attributes. And the same for start date as well. The invoice number is a simple single line of text. Invoice value, like balance, is a whole number attribute. The same for monthly payment. 
And finally, the serial number column will be another single line of text field. So I've now mapped the columns stored in the external database, the, the Excel spreadsheet, and I'm asking the data import tool to actually create me a new record type in CRM, along with some new attributes, effectively creating a brand new application in CRM to manage service contracts. I can also get the system to duplicate check the, the data as it comes in, and if we have additional external databases with the same service contract information, we could save this data map uh, for reuse later on. So when I submit this job, Microsoft Dynamics CRM will generate a brand new XRM application within Microsoft Dynamics CRM to better manage service contracts. So we'll be able to make use of the existing capabilities in CRM, the ability to deliver and share this application via Microsoft Outlook or a browser or any mobile device. What I'm going to do now is to customize the application that Microsoft Dynamics CRM has automatically created. So I'm going to navigate to the customization area in CRM and we should now see a brand new entity called Service Contract. And what I'm going to do is to customize the service contract record. I can also determine which areas in the system the new application will be available in. So I've selected sales and service. And then further down the list, we can select additional options for this new entity. So you can go ahead and, and change some of the, the core options for the new entity service contract. And when you're happy with those changes, you can click Save. I'm now going to customize the other aspects of the new service contract entity, beginning with the form. So Microsoft Dynamics CRM has automatically created out-of-the-box forms. And I'm just going to ensure that all of the new attributes have been created successfully. And I'm going to drag and drop our new attributes that will hold information about the service contracts onto the form on the left-hand side. So I can drag on the account name and the balance and the contract type pick lists. And the same for the, the rest of the, the fields that will hold information about the service contracts. Once you're happy with all of the attributes are on the form, you can go ahead and save and close those changes. I'm also going to modify the existing view that Microsoft Dynamics CRM has created for the new service contract record type. So I'm just going to remove the columns that it's created by default. And if I click on Add Columns, I can go ahead and select all of the new attributes that relate to the service contract and place those within the new Active Service Contracts view and I can save and close my changes. Finally, I'm just going to create some charts so that we can provide management information and reporting on service contracts within our new XRM application. So I'll just select invoice value as the series and as our horizontal access, we'll go ahead and select contract type and change the chart to be a pie. For the second chart, I will go ahead and show again a sum of invoices, but this time broken down by the expiry date of the individual service contract. So I'll select the end date and show that by, by month. For the last chart, I will create 
a bar graph to show the top contracts by customer. So I'll select the invoice value, sum of invoice value, and we'll break that down by account name. But within the advanced options, I'm just going to go ahead and select that I would like to see the top 10 contracts broken down by invoice value. Once you're happy with the changes made to the new record type, you can go ahead and publish the changes and the new XRM application will now be available to the rest of the users of the system. So if I refresh Microsoft Dynamics CRM, we should see a new application has been built and is available in our workplace. I can go ahead and create a new record to test our XRM application is working. So I can just fill in some default values for account number and we'll go ahead and select John Lewis as our related customer and this is a PC contract type. The invoice value is £20,000. Again, a default value for serial number and we'll add some additional information, the invoice date, the start date of the contract along with the expiry date. We'll add a monthly payment and a default value for the invoice number and finally the outstanding balance on this particular contract. So the application seems to be working fine. And finally, we can create a dashboard to provide high level management information about service contracts that are recorded in our new XRM application to display the charts that I created against the service contract earlier. So I'm just going to add the three charts that were already def defined. So invoice value by contract type will go on our dashboard. Select the second chart. Invoice value by end date. And finally the last chart which is the top invoices broken down by customer. At the bottom of the dashboard I'm just going to provide a summary view of active service contracts that are recorded within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So I'll select service contracts and the default view Finally, we can specify a name for the dashboard. So we call this Service Contracts Dashboard and click Save and Close to test the XRM reporting.